A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. Today I'll show you how to make juicy bayou ribs. Louisiana is the first I've ever visited in the United States of America. So I went on a plane, got into the airport of New Orleans, I walked straight out and there it was, Bourbon Street. So imagine a European guy for the first time in America and, and just walking down the street in Bourbon Street. I remember that there was a guy standing on the corner in the middle of the night in Bourbon Street and he was playing the trumpet. Those things stick. But what I also remember was eating my first crab cake. And my friend ordered a steak. And that was my first introduction to Cajun style cooking. And I remember that I absolutely loved the crab cake. I loved the crab out of the cake. But that steak, I wish I also ordered the steak. And now when I hear something about Cajun cooking, it always grabs my attention. So today, I wanna take that Cajun style cooking and combine it with another steak they were beef ribs. This is a two and a half kilogram black Angus beef rib. It has insane marbling. It has a beautiful color. It's big, it's gigantic, and it's so marbled that I'm surprised it's not Wagyu at all. And it's more marbled than I've ever seen in the black Angus beef rib. So what I wanna do, I wanna take these beef ribs, combine them with that, and create amazing Cajun beef ribs. First, we're gonna make a Cajun rub. It consists out of one part garlic powder, one part onion powder, three parts smoked paprika powder, one part cayenne pepper, one part dried oregano, one part dried thyme, and now you realize you need another bowl. And all you need now is one part pepper and one part salt. Mix that up and behold your beautiful Cajun rub. The smell is amazing, the color is amazing. I immediately get that Cajun style flavor in my nose. It's beautiful. The only thing that we have to do now is start up the Bernhardt. It's a pellet field smoker. That means that it burns pellets and creates smoke. These are hardwood hickory pellets that create a nice little distinguished flavor. The barbecue is running at a temperature of 135 degrees Celsius, which is mimicking the same temperature that is occurring in the bayou. It's time for beef ribs to catch some smoke. To measure the temperature, I'm using a meter block. I'm aiming for a core temperature of 94 degrees Celsius on the beef ribs. And the meter thermometer is gonna help me to reach that number precisely. So we're gonna close the lid and let the Bernhardt do his job. While the beef ribs are catching smoke and color, it's time to think about something else. I want to create a bayou butter. All you need is one stick of butter, one tablespoon of that Cajun rub, one tablespoon of Creole ground mustard, and one teaspoon of dried parsley. Now start mixing up and you got yourself a bayou butter. What's with the accent? I'm sorry, I'm really into Red Dead. I can't help it. Sorry guys. If you have a hard time mixing it, just put it in the burn heart and soften it up. After around two hours or so, the beef ribs are looking amazing. You can see that the shape has started to change. You see that the fat is rendering down and it picked up a lot of color. This is the time that I'm gonna take it off and get that bayou butter on top of the beef ribs. Pack it up again and place it back on the barbecue and let it smoke until it reaches the temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. I wanted to take a Cajun approach. We had beautiful black Angus beef ribs. I seasoned them with my own Cajun rub, smoked them for a couple of hours, added a special bayou butter. And now I must say, this is one wobbly looking beef rib. And it's definitely as wet as the bayou. Oh man, does it smell good. All the barbecue pros didn't know exactly what's going on here. I created this amazing butter. Well, in my opinion, it, it tasted amazing. And I overdid it. I thought, you know what? I need more butter and more butter and more butter and more butter. So what happens is 
Th this is completely butterized. But man, is it juicy. Look at it! Come on! This is, this is insane! This is, this is freaking insane! Ugh. Eva, your bone. Another if you want. Let's fall off the bone tender. All right, can't wait to try this. Is this bringing me home to the bayou? Ah, oh, this is so insanely marbled. Let's go for this. Okay, these are the juiciest beef ribs I've ever had on this show. Look how tender it is too, like, just can pull it apart. Maybe that wasn't the idea, but it works so well with this. I feel definitely like a CCR song right now. Mm. Oh man, you should try this. Let's right. go. This is a big piece though. That's a, that's a, that's chunky, a chunky piece. piece. It's super juicy, right? No, it's super juicy. This is crazy juicy. These are the most juicy Black Angus beef ribs I've ever seen in my life. And Cajun style, do it, man. Do it. Try it. It's amazing. This whole area is juicy. I think we did a good job. Eva, yeah. here's your piece. Enjoy. And, uh, and uh, I'm gonna eat a little bit more. But not too much, because this is heavy on the stomach. This is really heavy. Mm. It's kind of surprised me how heavy this is. Yeah, these are like... It's almost... It feels... Om I dare to say it. It's almost like Wagyu yeah. beef ribs. Whoever made these... <laughs> Whoever is this guy? You're a god. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a cow god. <laughs> I hope to see you guys next time in the next video. I'm gonna leave now because you can click on the next video and uh, you're gonna say exactly. some lovely things. Lovely things. See you guys next time. We love you so much. Is that good? Or do I need to be more smooshy? Do you mean it? Uh, I love you guys very much. And now there's some very nice video over there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope uh, to see you guys next time. Thanks to Patreons and the YouTube members. It's sparkling. Keep on grilling. Beef ribs.